Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing lots of different projects from the new Memory Box Valentine's collection for 2020. I've chosen some of my favorite designs and I've put them on rainbow colored backgrounds with lots of colorful layers. If you like bright and cheery projects, this is the video for you. We'll be doing lots of different things with the new release and I hope that you'll enjoy each and every single one just as much as I enjoyed making them. So let's get started. There are lots of heart shapes in these videos, and so I designed the products to work well with each other. To begin, we're going to be using the Scallop Pinpoint Loving Heart Cut Dies. Now for this project, you'll need four pieces of cardstock. On the left, the blue piece is four and a quarter by five and a half. It'll cover the entire front of an A2 size card. And then the other remaining pieces are slightly smaller because they'll be hiding behind that blue layer. Now I've arranged it so that the largest layer is on the left and then each size heart that's smaller goes down the line, making a smaller and smaller heart window in each of them. And I'll just save these cut out hearts for a different project that I'll show you later on. Now you can see when you stack these up, they gradually get bigger and bigger. Layer by layer, you'll see a little bit of the layer below it and that nice detail scallop pinpoint design all the way around each of the hearts. It's really a nice look. And for the last layer, I'm just gonna choose a pink. That's gonna fill in the center hole so that we have a complete rainbow from top to bottom. Next, I'm gonna take the Hugs Heart Die from Poppy Stamps. I'm gonna cut that out of a bright fuchsia piece of cardstock. Now, I wanna put a background on that, and I'm gonna show you a little trick. I designed the memory box hearts to work with the Poppy Stamps products as well. So I'm gonna cut out a heart using one of those heart dies, and you can see it fits exactly behind that Poppy Stamps Hugs Heart die. Just perfect. And I wanna put a little bit of color on there so that those words and the flower will show up a little bit nicer. So I've cut an extra Hugs Heart die, and I'm gonna use that as a stencil as to show me where I should color it. So I'm gonna use some Copic markers. I'm just gonna fill in that space. I don't wanna worry at all about going outside the lines and getting that top Hugs Heart messed up because that's just my stencil. So I'm just filling it in with some marker. I'm gonna do the text first, and then I want to fill in the petals around that little flower die. You don't have to be too exact here. Just kind of fill some color in because that's going to put some color on that solid heart below. And then I'll know where I need to fill in extra color so that it shows through properly. So I'll remove the stencil and I'll go ahead and fill in that area that needs to be colored so that it shows through onto that top die. I'm gonna go outside the lines a little bit just to make sure I have good coverage so that when I put the correct Hugs Heart on top, it'll all be filled in. So I'm just gonna fill it in a little bit. The Copic markers, they're gonna bleed just a little bit, so you have to prepare for that. You'll know that they'll extend a little bit outside of where you're coloring. And then when you put that Hugs Heart on top, it fills in that space. And this is what the card looks like when you have it finally assembled. This is one option. I'm gonna show you a different option using the Whittle Hedgehog. This little guy is probably one of our most popular designs right now. It's got nice little details where his little quills are, and he's just fun to use in a composition on a card. It's pretty cute. And he's really easy to use. I'm just using a Copic marker here, and you just need to color over the area where his hair is, those little quilled areas just using a brown marker just to fill in that space. I've cut him out of craft colored cardstock, so he's already brown, and this just darkens up the back of his body. Here's that same card, and I've just filled in the center with the hedgehog and a little heart and stamped out sending hedgehogs from the Whittle Love stamp set. Now, remember those leftover pieces that we got from cutting out the hearts? I'm gonna use those to make another card. Those are all the leftover hearts from the inside, and I've just stacked them up here and used a little bit of glue to get them all adhered together. I'm gonna to use the Get Well Loving Heart 
from Memory Box, and you can see I've designed that as well to line up exactly with the largest heart from that set. I'll adhere that down and put it on top of the Dazzle Bevel set from Birch Press. Now isn't that a cheery card? Wouldn't you like one of those to get you to get well soon? That Dazzle Bevel background is just three layers, layered together in bright colors, and makes an excellent backdrop. Now if you're in an inky mood and want to create a rainbow background on your own using your inks, I suggest starting with some Distress Oxide. These are great to blend with. This is Peacock Feathers. I'm going to use that in the upper right corner, and I'm going to follow that up with another color. This is Distress Oxide in Wilted Violet. I'm going to use my sponge, and you can use any sort of blending tool for this technique. Lots of circles and overlap slightly, and just keep going and going until you get the intensity that you desire. This is Worn Lipstick, and I'll follow that up with Distress Oxide and Wild Honey. These are so fun to blend together. You get brand new colors every time you overlap. I'm going to finish off with Mowed Lawn. I'm going to go over the honey and back over the peacock feathers again before I choose my dye that I want to put on top of the background. And I've chosen this grid heart frame from Poppy Stamps. I'm going to cut that out of plain white cardstock and that's going to be the overlay so that all those rainbow colors peek through. Next, I'm going to take the heart and bow. This is a two-piece die set. It comes with the heart and it comes with the bow. And I'm going to cut the heart out twice. One heart will be brown and the other heart will be glittery red. And then the bow will be metallic gold. When you layer all these together, it creates a dimensional heart box, just like what you'd see if you were going to get some nice chocolate candy for Valentine's. You adhere the bow on top with those two pieces kind of hanging off the bottom, and that's supposed to give perspective to make it look like a dimensional image there. Get it all in the right spot, and then you have a nice little box of candy ready to adorn the front of a little handmade card. It's really fun to put together and kind of gives it an optical illusion. I chose the Whittle Panda as the character that I want to use for the front of this card. I've cut him out in white cardstock, and you just need to color him in. You need to color around the eyes, you got to do the ears, the nose, and then kind of his shoulders. Use the smallest black pin you can find and get that all colored in. And there you go, a panda. Perfect for the front of a card. And you're going to put him on top of that little heart box and stamp a message below from the Whittle Love Sentiment stamp set. If you have some of our Whittles, you'll love this stamp set. I've tried to design it to use lots of different phrases that match many of the Whittles that we have in our collection. So I've done You're the Berry Best for the bottom of this. And look how bright and cheerful this one is. Lots of rainbow color and that sparkly red box really stands out. Wouldn't it be fun to get a card like this any time of year? Okay everyone, thanks for watching this short video and I hope you've been inspired to make a few rainbow valentines of your own.